is going on over there. What is up ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, welcome back to Mr. Trans episode 3 of FFOE. Is that how I want to say it? I don't know, I need to work on a better intro, a more standard intro that I'll say every time or something. I don't know, I don't know. I'll, just, I'll figure it out. So anyway, so welcome back to episode number 3. No, I'm just coming out checking on chicken cooking. It is working beautifully. So, right now, um, what the plan is for today? My plan is to get rid of this makeshift tree farm and make a smaller little actual tree farm plot. Just put a couple of each tree up that I have so far in it. That way we have a couple going over here. That way if someone needs some seeds or something, or saplings per se, they can come over here, break some trees, get some saplings, and just replant them. Um, but other than that, we're gonna, I think we're going to try to finish up the tunnel today, and then um, see what progress takes us from there. Might do a little bit of exploring, see what, uh, see what else we can get going on, and stuff like that, but not too sure what the game plan is for today. Haven't gotten too good at uh, planning out my actual episodes and besides just playing and I guess winging it. So uh, yeah, so far we've just been winging it. You know what I just remembered is we do have a freaking spawner down there. I forgot all about that because I had these trees planted here that were covering it up. So yeah, we might actually go do that today. If we have the resources, we might go over there and just go ahead and plot out there or get that all dug out and set up and stuff. It sounds like a good goal. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and chop down these trees. I'm going to get everything uh, get everything rolling. And then be right back. But as you can tell, this place is barren. We have taken almost everything out. And I've moved almost, about, moved almost everything over to my new area. Which is where I'm going to be building. But I still want to come back here. We're still going to come back here and do a lot of, lot of, lot of stuff. So just because I'm leaving here doesn't mean I'm going anywhere. Like I just I moved my stuff away um, just to get it out of here. Just so I have my own little spot to start setting up. But I pretty much, you'll see. You'll see what I'm going on, what I'm working with once we get over there. But uh, for now, someone started building their house over there. I think that was there a couple episodes ago. But they've actually got a little bit more stuff inside of it. But I'm not going to go over there for now. It's not really a worry of mine. Then I noticed this. I'm not sure. I know it's a new grass, I believe. But. So I broke this and I thought it was weird. I was like, this is crazy. It's lower. It's like it's been tilled by a hoe. So I don't know what this is. Uh, I don't know. When you pick it up, it says dirt. And then when you push it down, it says something different. So I don't know. But yeah, someone's little secret cubby hole. It's pretty cool though. I really do like how it looks. Freaking out. I was flying around on my camera account. And I saw it looks like a little path that goes over there. It's pretty cool. I like it. So... Maybe we'll have to figure out how to get us some of that delicious looking uh, dirt there. Well, not delicious because dirt's probably, probably, probably doesn't taste too good. And I don't know about you, but I was a kid and I tried it and it's not. So, uh, anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and figure out what's going on right now. Do a couple of repairs here and there and stuff. Um, I think we're going. what we're going to do today is I would like to finish up the, um, the tunnel to the mine shaft over here because I still definitely plan on using that even though I have my own area started to get set up and all that but I still definitely want to get this finished because this is ugly it is ugly with a capital G or a cap I just said that with a capital U there, there is a G in ugly but I meant capital U so anyways without sounding too much like an idiot anymore let's go ahead and uh Let's get the rest of the show on the road, and then we'll be back in a little bit. So, one, two, three. Bam! So, it's nothing special. It's nothing really out of the wham, bam, nothing like that. But, shepopay. Yeah, we got it done. And, uh, took a whole lot of iron and a whole lot of, of uh, lava. A lot of, lot of, lot of, lava. But that pretty much was running back and forth with nothing but, uh, lava buckets in my inventory. Literally nothing but lava buckets, a sword and my food that was it that's all i had and then lava buckets out the wazoo because before as you can tell it's not just it's not one block which if it was one block it'd be fine because you can just put down the lava 
and the lava would just float and then you'd be good and it'd just go down but as I tried to do it I was just trying to fill it from here and have it just float down but as I did that it was leaving the it would hit this block and then these two blocks were just open and look it didn't look cool it looked like uh, like crap it, it looked like crap so behind it was just whatever blocks so I thought at first I would break those blocks and I was putting the white blocks back there and actually no, I was putting the red blocks back there the andesite or uh, no that's not andesite is it granite granite sorry and uh it just didn't look right it just seemed like it was going to take way too long even though the lava took quite a bit longer than I thought it took me about three hours to finish this but um took me a while and I just decided that this looked better it may have been time consuming but I figured you know if we're gonna do something we're gonna do it right and we're gonna make a badass so that's what my attempt was you know just uh feel a little bit off by just you know having to sand I had to sand down sand stairs down here first but I didn't want to make the whole thing just giant and sandy just because we were here on the, the sandy beach you know what I mean just a little beach corner this is really the only sand around but I'm not going to remove the stairs not going through that whole process so okay i think the stairs personally i think they look fine they pop out just a little bit just enough um so we added a couple more furnaces down here that way people got uh stuff to be able to smelt those things in i don't think there's any coal left in any of them i have a little on me but i'm not gonna uh, you know what i'll go ahead and put that in there and yeah, just put it in that one um so we got a couple furnaces down here got going all the way down to here right down to this point and from this point on is where it turns into the uh, the um, zero level or the what is it the yeah five level the dang it this level this level you, you know what I mean you know what I mean bedrock okay that's the word I'm looking, that's that's the block I'm looking for Jesus Christ I'm sorry guys it's uh, 11 o'clock at night where I'm at 2300 and for me if you know me I'm usually in bed by around 2100 which is 9 p.m. And at the latest, I'm in bed by then. So, set up a couple hours extra tonight, trying to get this done and get it recorded and all that stuff, so I can finish up the video for this week. And um, and what video for this half of the week? I'm trying to do two videos. I'm trying to get this one done and upload it by tomorrow, which will be Thursday. Okay, Thursday the 10th. All right. So anyway, so uh, I'll just stay away from the skeletons right now. So you see the mine, that's what it looks like from the outside. Nothing too spectacular or anything like that. Just and it just pops out a little bit so you can see it from the hill. I think it looks cool. I'm um, trying to finish the roofing on here. Just uh, I took everything out as you can tell. If you look inside here, I did forget to mention that earlier. I took all my stuff out of here and I have moved to a different area. So yeah, we'll we'll go over that towards the end of the video. We'll just get a quick glance at what I'm doing and all that stuff like that. Okay, so we're gonna finish the roof, and then I uh, think that might be about it for today. Maybe finish the roof, um, put in the walkways or the roads that connect all these areas together. I gotta get rid of that grassy hill, um, and once we get done with that. We'll have all this connected, and then that'll be our basic farm setup. We have cows, we got sheep, we got wheat, we got the, what are they called? I still can't remember what these are called. I keep on calling them beets. Okay, look like beets. Oh, well, they are. They're beetroots. Okay, so I'm, I am pretty right, much right. I just forgot the root part. And then, uh, yeah, pretty sure I already showed this off, but yeah, the chicken farm is going wonderfully, a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I was worried with the 1.9 update about not working. And then we have ourselves the, um, the, uh, trash bin, the Mr. Trans Garbage Disposal System, Inc. Okay, so this is the basic garbage disposal system. Um, got a trap chest on there to stop it from, in case you accidentally do something like that and put the wrong tools inside of it, okay? So yeah, if anybody needs uh, instruction on how to do that, let me know and I'll make a short clip on uh, at the end of this video or attach to next week's video after I look at the comments and see if you need to, if you would like to know how to make that. And I can either link the person that I saw it from or I can just show you how to do it myself. Either way, it works for me. And uh, look at that, it's got skeletons everywhere just and all of them have helmets on them ridiculous it's been happening so much lately what's he about to shoot at hold on what what's he doing yes uh yeah see they're all on horses they were all on horses oh he's shooting at me why look at that horse shot at me <laughs> so 
So yeah, these horse things, skeletons are popping up everywhere. A lot, again, a lot more common than I thought they were going to be. So anyways, guys, let's get finished with the roof on here. <coughs> And then we're going to get finished up with the uh, the road. Then we'll get finished up with... I think that'll be it. That'll, that'll be it. We'll finish up those two things. And then we will take a short glance at the area on where I plan on building. So like that. And I'll give you all somewhat of an idea of what I want to do. Not too much because I want to keep it a surprise each week. But yeah, we'll get this bad baby rolling. So I will see you guys as soon as I finish this up. We're down in the mine shaft for the past like uh, two hours. Just I need to get some iron because I'm running pretty low. I need to get some diamonds, as you can tell. My uh, pickaxe is just about broken and got a couple of diamonds, but uh, yeah, running low on iron again. So had to go down and get a little bit of mine done. So this chest right here contains what we got down there, and I say for about a two-hour period of mining, we did a decent job on resource gathering. So here we go we got two and almost a half stacks of iron got almost a full stack of gold got 44 diamonds 44 diamonds I, I personally believe that to be pretty damn good um, then we got three stacks of lapis and almost three stacks of redstone and a whole bunch of coal so we got plenty of torches and plenty of coal blocks to make but this right here is what I'm proud about. Yeah, buddy. Time to make me some diamond gears. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are finished. All right, so I do have the roof put on here. I'm going to put some uh, pressure plates down here to uh, yeah, just make it a little bit easier getting that out, obviously. we got the roof on here. Got a bed. Got a crafting table. Nothing too fancy. Still need to do some uh, interior decorating. I think this is where we're going to put the uh, boats for the the dock area right here that's oh yeah put a sign up here the ffoe boathouse all right so this is just gonna be where we store boats at and stuff like that see how many people actually use anything look oh, we got a pig man what's up pig man how you doing all right so we made the uh nether portal a little bit big just a little bit to you know just have it pop out and stand out a little bit more and we got the uh brick sidewalk with the stone slab um border on it i've never really used brick before so i decided to try it out for this time and then before i showcase all the rest of the stuff let's check on our uh, chicken cup here still going strong gotta start using all this chicken um yeah then we got it all conducted going around here don't have it really going anywhere back here because we haven't done too much yet and then we have uh should probably put some uh torches down here huh these a torch We'll put a torch here. Oh, I can't there and there. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Nope. Get him. 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 All right. So we got him. Uh, I really want those arrows because I'm trying to stop pile them. Alright, so we got that done. Then we on the inside of the two cages. We have a little small uh, brick roadway is going through each kennel or pen, whatever you want to call it. A little fountain inside there just because it looked weird. Only had the two gates in there. And in here I got like four. So just made something a little different there. Alright. And then that was it. That's what we said we were going to finish up for the rest of this episode. So. I'll see you guys next week when we decide to uh, start building in our own area. We will still be coming back here. We got lots and lots and lots to do around here. But I'm going to start building over in my own little area. Get that started up just a little bit since we got food and everything going already. And uh, if you like the videos, please make sure you like and subscribe and tell your friends. I will see you next time, ladies and gentlemen. Peace out.